to Tazunumi Online Mathematics. Uh, we are continuing with our topic vectors. Now we want to take a question on a resultant vector. We are giving PQ, we are giving RQ, we are asked to find PR. Alright, so from the previous uh, videos, we mentioned that if a question is given to you involving vectors, you are asked to find another vector. You look at the end point. We know the vector is only from a particular point to another point, so from A to B. So it means the end point, we have A, we have B. If there is another letter, which could be, let's say, C, then that simply means that we are having a triangle of a vector. So definitely that will give us our resultant vector. So you look at the distance between the vectors given to you. We can see PQ, there is no displacement. It's a direct movement. RQ, direct from R to Q. Then PR, we can see there is a displacement, meaning we have a hidden destination. That is from P, we, we can move to a destination as Q. Then we can forward from Q to R. So it means this is our resultant vector, the vector that has not have for, uh, a direct link. So from the vector, we can say that our PR is going to be, the journey is from P to that unknown destination. We know PQR. So from P, we move to Q. Then from that destination, we change our course again and move toward R. So this is what we have, PR equals to PQ plus QR. So now from this, we look back to the question and see the values we're given. PQ has been given to me, so I'll use it. QR is not given to me. I'm giving the reverse. That is a negative vector. So we can say that this is what I'm looking for. QR is a negative of RQ, a negative vector. We talked about that in the previous video. A negative vector is just a change in direction. Therefore, the, the need for a negative sign. So this is going to be minus 4 minus 1. And if you multiply by minus 1 times this, it gives you minus 4. Minus 1 times minus 1 gives us a positive 1. Therefore, our P R as a vector equals to PQ, which is minus 1, 3, plus QR, which we now found as well, minus 4, 1. So we compute them by putting them in one bracket, minus 1 plus minus 4. Then we have 3 plus 1. Then minus 1 plus minus 4 can be taken as minus 1 minus 4. And minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. Then 3 plus 4 plus 1 will give us 4. So the vector, therefore, vector QPR is going to be minus 5, 4 as our final answer. So if you are asked to find, you always look out for the three vectors and see, since the triangle of a vector, you will find out the, the vector that have a displacement in it. If that vector have a displacement, you begin with that as your resultant vector. All right. Thank you very much. If you liked this video, then subscribe to the channel Gapo Fred Yao or Setazo on TikTok. And if you subscribe, make sure you click on the, the button so that anytime I upload a new video, you can be able to get notification. Thank you very much.